very good morning to all in this session we are going to discuss about ipv4 we know that ip address are used for communication purpose as human we also have a communication addresses so that uh, we can uh, get the material what we ordered through online uh, that will be received to the respective communication uh, communication addresses either it may be permanent or temporary addresses same manner here addressing uh, plays a major role in the uh, networks so all the device which is connected in the network or uh, shared the information or connected through the with the help of ip addresses this ip address is a 32 bit binary addresses uh, which is used for communication purposes from one end to another end in the internet. This uh, IP address has a two part. What is a network part, another one is a host part. It is referred to as net ID and host ID. What is this net ID and host ID? The portion of the IP address that identifies the network is called as the net id the portion of ip address that identifies the host or router on the network is called as a host id by using this two id this ip address plays a major role this ip address has a classful addressing each address is a 32 bit addresses divided to four octet Example is shown here 192.168.1.152. This belongs to one of the class addresses, and uh, this is a uh, represented in the form of a decimal. Same, this ID can be represented in the form of binary also. This belongs to uh, class C IP addresses. Let me discuss what are the class. Uh, and how what is the ranges it starts and end with one by one this picture which represent that uh, uh, ip addresses in the form of decimal notations as well as binary notations so this 185.107.80.231 uh, this represent the ip addresses uh, which belongs to one of the uh, IP addresses that means you know, class B IP addresses. In case of class B, means uh, first two byte which indicates a net ID and uh, remaining which uh, indicates the host ID. This classful IP addressing it divided into class A, class B, class C, class D, and class E. So, the various classes of the IP addresses uh, they represent that class A means. Uh, that is the first bit which is in a zero and its ranges uh, vary from uh, zero to 127. So class A is, starts from zero to 127. Uh, so this class A, uh, as we said, the net ID and host ID plays a major role. In class A, one byte uh, defines the net ID and three byte defines the host ID. In class B, uh, it uh, starts from 128 to 191. So in this uh, class B, two bytes defines the net ID and two bytes defines the host IDs. And class C, the ranges from uh, 192 to uh, 223. And in this class C, three bytes defines net ID and one, night, one byte defines the host ID. And remaining class D and class E. Class D is used for multicast addresses and class E, which is used for uh, reserved or uh, for research purposes, experimental study related reasons, they have been used. So, uh, first three classes plays a major role in uh, the various organization based upon the small or large scale organization, class A, uh, class B, or class C is used. In case of class A, it divided into 128 blocks, that each block is uh, having a different net ID. Uh, in class B, uh, it uh, divided into 16,384 uh, blocks. In case of class C, what will happen? 
two lakhs ninety thousand one fifty two blocks are used. Some of the blocks are two fifty six blocks are used for private addressing. Uh, uh, leaving this, we have uh, two lakhs ninety six thousand uh, eight hundred ninety six blocks for assigned for the organizations. For small uh, organizations, we use class C. For larger organizations, we can use uh, class B. So based upon the usage, what we need, uh, the classes are designed by the NIC. These are the this chart which describes about the various IP classes as well as uh, what are the leading bits it has and how many uh, address bits we have and number of hosts, what is the possible host we have and which is the starting address and ending address. So as we, in the example, we said this belongs to class A and class B, class C, like we said. That means uh, the address which starts from 0 to 127 means in between the address will belongs to class A. Similarly, 128 to 191, this belongs to the address belongs to the class B. And 192 to 223, that belongs to class C address. As we discussed uh, uh, previously, this belongs to which category as well as which this belongs to which category. Whether it belongs to class A or class B or class C, uh, we have discussed. Based upon uh, the usage, uh, the NIC will provide the which classes we needed for that uh, organizations. Uh, this will, this and all comes under the category of IPv4. Uh, due to the shortage of uh, the addressing, we moved for IPv6 uh, that are we are using recently. As well as uh, in some cases, uh, the translation of IPv6 and IPv4 are done. Uh, to perform the management for uh, adopting the IPv6. These are the entire process involved in IP addressing. Thank you.